Hey folks, Joseph A. Savora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Ice Age Continental Drift, the fourth installment of the original Ice Age. It stars Ray Romano, John Leguizamo, Dennis Leary, Queen Latifah, Wanda Sykes, and Jennifer Lopez. The movie begins when Scrat the Squirrel, once again going into his nutty pursuit with the cursed acorn that he's been following ever since the first movie. <laughs> of course. Unfortunately, he accidentally provokes a continental catalysm with a storm in which Manny, being overprotected with his teenage daughter, Peaches, is being separated with her and his wife, Ellie, on an iceberg with Diego, Sid, and Grandy. But he promised that he would find a way to return home. Meanwhile, crossing the ocean, they are captured by a cruel pirate named Captain Gut and his crew. However, they escape from them and Manny tries to steal Captain Gut's ship in order to return to his homeland where he belongs in a dangerous voyage throughout the sea. But the cruel pirate seeks revenge against Manny and his family and friends. Now, I really did enjoy the original Ice Age. I think it's still one of the best animated films ever made at the time. The second one was even better as it follows it, but it's not exactly as good as the original film was. I did enjoy the third movie too, which was The Dawn of the Dinosaurs. I thought that was pretty funny. On the other hand, this was a decent sequel for the fourth installment. It has some great characters in this movie. Um, Jennifer Lopez did a very good job in this film as a tiger Shira, who eventually was one of uh, Captain Gut's crew, but now it became, you know, it, yeah, she was a traitor for a while and then suddenly she, she grew into him. Also the cast, including uh, John Leguizamo, oh, funny as usual. Dennis Leary is very good as, uh, as Diego. And Ray Romano, of course, <laughs> as usual, playing the brave and overprotective father known as Manny. And Queen Latifah um, did a very good job as Ellie. Also, uh, K.K. Palmer does the voice of Peaches in this film. And I thought she was good, nevertheless. Um, they, had a, they had a very good cast, too. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, not as good as the uh, not as good as the first three, but I had to say it's it's definitely, but it's definitely a decent film to watch, especially if you love Ice Age, and I know I love them too, so I think I could take it for granted. Uh, plus, before Ice Age started, there is a Simpsons short film called The Longest Daycare, which focuses on Maggie trying to save. A caterpillar which eventually turns into a butterfly by a mean baby with one of his longest eyebrows. Yeah, I thought that was pretty clever and very funny and also cute at the same time. Because, man, I, I felt sorry for Maggie and, and the butterfly that he was trying to save. Yeah. Definitely worth checking that out. Um, but other than that, though, I really did enjoy Ice Age Continental Drift. I think this is a great sequel to watch. Enjoy this. So I give this film three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.